man, that is like my favorite shot to get. I always stop and get a shot of the train going by every time. So when it comes to my YouTube videos, I have like, I'm very specific, let's put it that way. Especially when it comes to like audio. I don't know why, but I've always been like a sucker for audio. But that's also where this problem comes in. Now, don't think differently of me, but look at all those dishes I have to do. Now, it's not that big of a problem, but it is something that I notice. Like I notice this in every video I make. Am I being too picky about it? Probably, but still, to me, it's still a problem. And the problem with my audio is that when I'm recording in this room, there is a very noticeable echo. You, you probably won't notice it unless you're listening to the videos with headphones. Look, I even put some sound muffles up there. Put a carpet in here. And I even put some up here. But dusty up here. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the echo is still there. Now, again, do most people notice this echo? Probably not. There was one comment that I got, like out of all the videos I made, one comment of someone talking about the echo. So to be honest, it's not a big deal, but it does bother me. It bothers me every video. It doesn't bother me so much when I'm watching the video back after I upload it, but it bothers me when I'm editing. I love audio design. I love using music. I love throwing sound effects in. I just like audio design. I feel like it just adds that, that juice, that sauce to the video. You, you know what I mean? I like living on the edge. I like living dangerous. I'm about that life. In the meantime, what I thought about doing was maybe trying a new mic. But as I said before, you know I'm picky about my audio, so the mics that I choose, I'm pretty picky with as well. I don't like batteries. I definitely don't like oversized mics. And the audio quality has to be at least a eight and a half. And now lately, I've been trying to stay away from mics with cables only because this Sony mic is so incredible. Now, while I've been going through this audio crisis in my studio, I've been seeing a bunch of YouTubers reviewing this brand new wireless microphone set by Cinco. And I was like, you know what? I need to hit them up. So I did and they came through. This is the brand new Cinco G2 A2 wireless microphone set. Now in the box, you're getting a super nice travel case, one receiver and two transmitters. That is right, not one, Two mic windshields, a cable for your camera, a cable for your phone, a three in one USB type C charging cable, which I really like, and two external lavalier mics. And now, while Cinco was nice enough to send me these babies for free, I'm gonna go ahead and do a review on these babies, all the while hoping to fix my little audio problem that I got in this room. And now, I just wanna make this clear, like, I wanna make it clear Cinco did send me these mics for free, but homie, this is more for me, some, some for you too, but, but really more for me just to see what works better, wireless mics or shotgun mics when it comes to vlogging and when it comes to my sit down stuff. But with that said, we're gonna be doing a proper review. And now for the comprehensive review. Now I'm still on the Sony ECM something something microphone that's been like my workhorse for this channel, but even it can't compete with the echoing in my room, man. Oh, and quick side note, there is one huge problem with the Sony though. Ugh. Look at all these people smoking right here. Okay, so this is the Sony ECM blah, 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 right? Man, I love how small it is. It's nowhere nearly as big as those Rode shotgun mics that all the vloggers use. It's nowhere near that big. But now, let's switch mics and see how we do. We're just gonna do like a walking around vlog test with the mic maybe a range test. Okay, now I got the Cinco G2 A2 on my chest right there. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. The size is, the size is great. Also, the build quality is actually pretty good as well. I noticed that it's a little bit lighter than the Rode mic, but yeah, it's, it's solid. Got a solid build on it. How does this sound outside? Can you hear this bus? There's like a bus or something passing right now. Can you hear that? Let me know. Ah, uh, they're feeding the ducks. <laughs> now one of the things that I can say that I 
absolutely love about wireless microphones has to be the fact that nowadays they are very small and so it's a lighter load on your camera which i love especially when i'm out and about like vlogging did i say out and about no out, out and about <laughs> i do have it in mono mode just because it's only me you can actually switch them between mono and stereo because it's a true stereo setup which means you can have two microphones going at the same time let's do a quick range test now can you hear me how's that you know what i'm a Go further away. All right, now, I'm super far away now. How is it? Okay, let me get back before somebody steal my Sony a7S III up in this piece. Okay, so the problem with this Sony microphone is you cannot use this mic on anything else but a Sony camera that actually allows you to use the electronic mic. The mic has these connectors right on it, right here. And these connectors go inside the hot shoe and yeah you like you can't use this on anything else versus the Cinco G2A2 and like other mics you can actually use them on anything else and that is by far the biggest downfall of the best microphone in the world but like look 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 watch this ah, and there you go now I'm on the DJI Osmo Action and I'm still using the same mic. That, that's the biggest problem with the Sony ECM blah, 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 blah microphone. I, also the name, I don't know why they named it that. But anyway, yeah, that's the biggest problem. All right, now that we're all done with that, for the last and final test, I am still on the Cinco G2A2 and the Sony mic is right here, the incredible Sony EC blah, 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 blah. It is right here, let's put it down. How are we sounding? I can hear the echo, but can you guys hear the echo? I mean, Editor Sky, can you hear the echo? What if I go over here, can, can you hear the echo? What about over here? Can you hear that echo? What about over here? I do film a lot over here, so can you hear it? Sky Money the Editor, can you hear it? All right, to, to be honest, I, I, I still hear it. And now for my final thoughts on the Cinco G2 A2 wireless microphone set. I have to say, these are actually pretty good. The build quality is solid. Like it's it's light, all the buttons work, they make sense, it's super easy to set up, no complaints. And for the simple fact that these are like direct competitors of the Rode Wireless Go 2 microphone set, I mean, it's pretty good. And these are like a lot cheaper. They both have the exact same setup of two microphone sets and one receiver. Like to be real, they're literally like the exact same which is not a bad thing. That's actually a plus for the Cinco G2 A2 wireless microphone set because of the fact that, again, it is pretty cheap. Also, the range is actually really good on these things. Like, I was super far. Like, I got, I was so far that I was worried that somebody might steal my camera. I was that far. Like, I'm not even joking. <laughs> that, that's just too far. Like, if you, if you go to the point where you can't even see your camera and it's still working, I think that's a plus. The audio quality, both inside and outside, are actually really great as well. And I feel like it could work very, very well for a vlog setup. So yeah, A plus when it comes to the vlogging. Now, if you're like me and you kind of don't want to wear these microphones and you kind of prefer to have it on your camera, a cool thing that you could do with wireless microphones is grab your lens hood and put a hot shoe on the lens hood. That way, instead of wearing it, you can actually clip it on here and then put it around the lens hood and boom, there you go. And to be real, I've actually used a setup like this quite a few times when I just don't wanna deal with people like looking at you, you know what I mean? You know what I mean. All right, and now I have to say too, I love how much stuff they give you. Like, holy cow, like they give you like, they give you everything, that is crazy. Like I just, they give you the laugh mic, two cords, one which goes in a cell phone. I mean, just in case you wanna just get started vlogging right away, they got you. They give you so much stuff in here. And now for the big one, does the Cinco G2A2 help with the echo? And it, it did a little bit, but it just, it's hard to tell. Like it's really hard to tell. The Sony and the Cinco do a great job of trying to get rid of the echo but it's just, it is what it is. It's just this room. Like it's, it's nobody's fault. It's just the room. So yeah, I'm a bit bummed about it, but side note, I noticed that in certain parts of the room, it's actually okay. But yeah, when I'm doing my sit down stuff, not so much. It's about the same as a Sony. So 
if I had to complain, oh, I almost dropped it. But yeah, if I had to complain about something, I noticed that it does offer a bit more bass, which I like, but on the other hand, there's like a small, like, there's, a, there, there's some noise in it that I don't, I don't know how to get rid of this noise. I, I tried playing around with it and I just don't know how to get rid of it. The thing works solid in wind, traffic, everything. Everything you throw at this microphone, it, it takes it and it handles it. But in a situation like this where there's no noise, you can hear just this, this little like, to be real, you won't notice it unless you have like the, the, the Dre's beats on, if you know what I mean. And you won't even notice it if you have like music under the track. So yeah, it's not a big deal. It's just that I did notice it because I told you pimp, I'm not gonna lie, I am a sucker for good audio. But other than that, it's actually a solid buy. I would highly recommend it. And if you wanna check it out, links are down below. And it is a great alternative for when I cannot use my Sony microphone on the other cameras like the DJI Osmo Action, which I had so much fun with. Anyway, 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 pimp. But yeah, it's a great alternative for when I cannot use the Sony mic. So yeah, check it out. Single, thank you so much for sending these mics. I know you didn't have to. Again, this video is not sponsored. I'm giving my honest opinion. I, it, was, it was just more personal. I just looking for an audio solution. But yeah, that is it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Also hit that subscribe button if you are new because you are a boss. And if you already subscribed and you watched the whole video, thank you so much. Man, I have to say, you guys are a bunch of ninja bosses. You already know, but I, I just, I gotta throw it out there and let you guys know again. But yeah, thank you so much for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one. Wait, 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 wait hold up, Pimpin'. If you do want some more of this face, <laughs> then click, click on one of these videos down here, okay? But until then, I will see you guys in the next video.